Claudia, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new here. So I love doing my nails. I used to go get them done, but that was getting really, really pricey, so I learned to do them myself. Now, I don't do acrylics. I basically take, like, plain nails. Maybe I buy cheap sets, or you can get, like, a set from Primark. And I will use my gels to paint over it, build up as press-ons, and then put them on. I do this every two weeks, and they seem really good. I get a lot of compliments on them. So I was in search of more nail products, you know, more brushes, some jewels, things to add to them to make them a bit fun. And I was looking on Runway, and they had a whole nail set. So for today's video I have ordered a bunch of nail products from Romway and I'm going to try them out, see if they're actually like worth it. Spoiler alert, but the nails I am wearing today are actually created with Romway products. So without talking any much more, let's get into this video and see if Romway nail products are actually worth it. <laughs> Up. I have all the products that I got from Runway right in front of me. There's so many different ones that you can see right here on the table. The first product I got from Runway was this whole set of different size nails. And what Runway advertise is that they cannot snap, so you can bend them, but they just won't snap, which is actually what enticed me. Now, I found out my different sizes. They had lots of different ranges. Now, these were really, really long nails, so I definitely had to trim these down, and I was going for more kind of coffin shapes. I had to trim these with some scissors, and then file them. Now another product I got from Runway was this big pack of nail files and I was going to take a nail file out of that and use that to file down the nail. However, I quickly found out that these nail files were so blunt. I think they're more buffers but it didn't specify on the website so I'm not 100% sure. This whole pack would have been amazing because there's so many in there if this was actual nail files but I think they're more buffers to like shine up your nail so I had to use my own nail file for this. This process took Took so long. I don't know, filing these nails, it just wasn't the easiest, but this set that you will see me painting, I actually found that Kylie Cosmetics on Facebook actually posted this, and it was inspiration of their packaging for their lip kits. So the next product that I actually got was this gold nail stacker thing. It's so you can put your nails on so that when you're painting them, they have like a surface to stick to. And it also comes with these stickers. They're like silicone stickers that you can put between the nail and the gold like stand. So I applied them all to the gold stand and then I started applying my base coats. Held under the lamp, let that set and we're starting with the base coat. I did have to do three coats of the colour just because... It didn't take too well to the clear nail. This one was just not as opaque as I wanted it to be. It was very transparent, so it needed three coats. After I'd done that, the matte top coat goes on top, and I've never actually used my matte top coat before, so I was actually excited to see how it looked. It looked really good. So now we're gonna take the brushes, and we're gonna start with the drip effect. So I picked out some really thin brushes and then a dotting tool, see which ones I liked best. Now another product that I got from Runway, as well as the brushes and the dotting tools, was this little tray and I'm just pouring out some of the gel onto the actual tray. You'll also see on screen I also have a glass little jar. This is usually for acrylic like liquid to make the powder a liquid form but I've actually just filled it up with water so I can clean my brushes in between painting. So I'm using this a thin little brush and I'm dipping it in and trying to make the three dripping effects. On Kylie's photo the ends of the drips are more circular and go out a little bit more so that's what I'm using the dotting tool for. Now these brushes brushes are quite stiff. Now I like that they keep their formation, that they're very thin and pointed, but they weren't very movable so I actually found that it was quite difficult to use them to the design I wanted because they just wouldn't move. I had to keep wiping off the brush on a piece of tissue on the side just so I could get more accuracy. I did try the dotting tool but I eventually found that this added too much gel to the actual thing and while I was painting the other nails that started to drip and bleed into the other like lines so I just abandoned the dotting tool and used the paint brushes in the end. For another set of nails I am trying this silicone thing I got from Runway. I've seen people do this on TikTok where they put the colour of gel onto it and then you press in the nail and it will create like the perfect French tip. So I did try this but I think I did way too much gel and it just kind of leaked everywhere. Also I think it's much better to do this when the nails are actually on you rather than doing press on because then you're actually able to fully press in and get that curved shape. But this is a handy tool if you want to do them to your own nails or if you've already got the acrylics on. And then the last thing I wanted to try out was on these different sets of nails I've done. So I did a baby pink 
like set on the bottom and then I used the brushes to make different swirls and stuff that I copied from a picture. I got this jar of gold leaf from Romway. I applied the top coat, cured that and then broke up the gold leaf and put them in different areas of the nails which I think looks so cute but through trial and error I definitely think put the top coat on and don't cure it then put the gold leaf on. Cure that then put another top coat on. I think that's the best because then it's actually got something to stick to but yeah it definitely needed like a few top coats over for the gold leaf just to like seal it and so it wasn't like all rough and bumpy but I loved how the gold leaf looked and I actually ended up wearing these sets of nails even though I didn't show you the whole video just purely because I didn't use the wrong way nails as a base I used this like set of nails I got from Superdrug because they were a bit sturdier and I didn't need to reshape them but that was all the tools used applying the nails to my actual hands which I didn't show I did use the appliances to cut like my dead skin around my nails and that worked really well too so the nails I was making in this video I was using the nails from runway themselves however those nails they were feeling really really flimsy they just didn't feel as tough as I like them to be if you did put acrylic on top I feel like it could have worked but personally I just didn't I didn't like the feel of them I have got those saved and I might wear them at a later date the gold is so cute on them it's made them so much better than just the design alone like I would not have had this cute nails I loved most products I did like the dotting tools I used them a lot but the end the silicone ends kept coming off so I had to chuck them all away so I haven't been using the silicone ends but the little dotting tools were perfection the little container I used to put in some nails some made sets or some just ones ready to be made so that's really handy but overall I love how the products have performed and I'm really really happy with how my nails have turned out I've also actually had a few compliments out and about and somebody actually asked if I could do their nails and I was like sorry I'm no professional I just do them myself but that's so cool and I am definitely going to be using their products so much more and I might go back through and have a look at what else they've got if you want to get money off to make your products affordable or get absolutely anything from the wrong way website then use my code Claudia15 W to get 15% off your order follow me on all my social media links they were all in the description box below follow my new Instagram because my main Instagram got deleted by Instagram themselves so I'm trying to build up my new Instagram so go follow me if you're not already link in the description box below all the search IDs to all these products will also be in the description box below like this video if you did enjoy it I hope you guys like this different style video subscribe if you have not subscribed already I post every single Sunday and Wednesday at 12 p.m. GMT and you never want to miss an upload turn on post notifications so that you don't I love you guys so very much thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye <laughs>